What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here with a legend in the making, I would love to say, a young superstar. Um, you wanna tell everyone your name? Uh, Tavion Wells, uh, college student, college athlete. You know, just somebody who's trying to get better every day, trying to make everybody around them better every day, you know? I have high faith for him, um, high hopes. I've seen his highlights, I've watched him play. He's from Madison, Wisconsin, where I actually live, so this is actually huge, but he's playing all the way in... Uh, New Mexico. New Mexico, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought for a second you were gonna say Texas, but yeah. he's playing in New Mexico College. This is your junior year just yeah, finished? Yeah, junior year just finished up, 10 game season, you know. Didn't have the overall as a team season. Uh, I I wanted and uh, strive to every year, but individually uh, coming from a D3 Juco and uh, the talent level uh, ra rising actually like times two, times three, and to be able to hang in there and still be one of the better players, make plays on the defensive side of the ball and just be used everywhere, you know. You guys are gonna get a chance to look at his highlights, but before I show you his highlights, show you how good he is, I want you guys to know the real story behind this guy. He's he's coming from a, a place where it seems like, at least for me, there's not much opportunity. Yeah. And, and the, the energy for people to want you to succeed is very low and it's very, 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 very difficult for people to push past those thoughts and beliefs and everyone saying you can't go anywhere and achieve anything. So I just wanna give him a special appreciation because that I know is really tough to do and break out of your circle of everyone in this area. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, I got a couple questions here for you today. I just wanted to ask you, what made you decide to go forth with football as a, a serious choice and option for life? Uh, I just been raised around the game my whole life. It starts with my two older brothers. Brandon and James, you know, being basically the pop Warner mascot for their team. Then when it was time for me to play, you know, I was begging my mom to take me to go sign me up, go play for the Warner Park over on the north side of Madison, you know. So just um, just having, just being raised around the game, those Saturdays mornings, going to watch my two big brothers play, you know, they were pretty good. Pop Warner, you know, Brandon was a great football player, you know, for a couple of years. And James just been an all around athlete. So just having two, older brothers that are just uh just role just um or role models and just basically chosen for me and just being born into the game basically with a football in my hand with them having their two moms and basically my two moms running around and um just taking them to, you know on the weekend those pop winter games so and it just something that clicked and was naturally good just you know picked up on a lot of football skill at a young age so so I think that's why. That's a great, that's a great answer. I appreciate that. Um, I got another big uh, question for you. How does it feel? How does it feel mentally, physically, maybe, uh, to know that you're like inspiring not only your family, friends, everyone from Wisconsin. Like I'm inspired myself, seriously, uh, to have met you and to be able to interview you. This is huge. Um, to have thoughts that you and I would love to see it. You could possibly go to the NFL. We know how serious that is, and I, I honestly feel like watching you guys, I, and even talking to you as a person, you have that energy that I know that's what they need, and you have that personality, that drive, that motivation, as your mom was telling me, everything, you have that motivation to keep pushing even past uh, beyond belief. So um, what the question is, again, is how does it feel to inspire thousands, maybe even potentially going to inspire millions of people with your life. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel a feeling that you really can't express because we're all in our own shoes, so you think we're just you know a little old person, but when you do come back home from school and people telling you how good you're doing and how they're watching you every weekend and how proud they are, it is uh, a different type of feeling, a feeling that like maybe you are going in the right decision in life and this is what I chose for me, you know, so. It just feels like, really can't explain it, but like, if I try to explain it, it's just something like, uh, the universe telling you, you're going in the right direction. Whatever it is, maybe we don't end the main goal, but we're in the right direction, you know? So that's how it feels like. Yes, that's kind of how I feel when people tell me that I'm inspiring them. It, like you said, it makes me feel like you're going in the right direction, literally. That's like the easiest way to explain it. You feel like you're doing 
what needs to be done for your life and you're told this is how this is how you want to live your life it's what makes you happy it's what you live for yeah. okay so that's what's up um i got one more question probably for you it's a big one where do you see yourself or what do you see yourself doing in your last season i know you said you're trying to transfer schools yeah. you're trying to go what team would you like to play for or who could you see so yourself playing for uh the back home team you know just uh wisconsin back home for one more year you know i've been uh, been away from home too long you know so i think it's time for me to finish it up back home you know doing it right you know i honestly believe you should go to play for the wisconsin badgers the serious question is you need to be starting, and you you have more than enough potential. I see. Um, our um, actually our cornerbacks are struggling a bit. Um, I think you would actually fit the team perfectly. I know Adam Crumholtz. I went to high school with you. If you see this, um, yeah, maybe I can shout out to him, and he's on the team. And I haven't talked to him in a while, but um, I honestly personally feel like you would be uh, a key factor on building the team. It's really difficult because it's your last season going in, but I want to stress that. If there was any way possible to get the fans, get the, uh, your fan base interested, get everyone, your family interested in, try to, uh, you know, shout out you and just get you in there. Because even if you have to work for half of the season, you play the last half of the season starting, I do feel like you would be a perfect fit as a starter for the Wisconsin Badgers, you guys. I honestly do. Um, he's from uh, Wisconsin. This is his home. home. So... Uh, for him to go out there and get a lot of experience on the road is huge. Um, that is honestly astonishing. It's remarkable. Um, I think I have one more question, um, and it's to finish off my last question. So if you were to go to the NFL, or even if you didn't, where do you see yourself taking football into the next 10 years? Where do you, What do you think is going to happen this last season? What are your predictions for this last season? And what are your predictions for after this season? Maybe the uh, funny thing is I feel that feel we'll look back on this in probably ten years and we'll be speaking to what I'm speaking to existence. I think uh, I think I will go to the NFL. I think I think how life set it up. I think the journeys I've been through. It's just however I get in there, a practice player, undrafted, drafted. Uh, I just need opportunity and the heart I got, man. It, it's different. It's different. So and if not, if it's not for me, like I said, if it's an universe and God doesn't have it for me. I think uh, me passing the game down to the younger cousins of my family, you know, giving them that shot, you know, just tell, uh, telling them they can they can basically see the world for free if they understand how to uh, play football at a, a decent level. You know, you don't have to be the greatest, but you got to be at a good level. And somebody out there pay for your tuition and your room and board to go see the world. And, you know, you can understand that life isn't just what you see and wake up every day and what you experience and there's whole another part of life that in different locations that we haven't experienced and I think we all need to and I think if more people experience that it make the world a better place you know? I do too you know? I do too so if you were to go to the NFL how do you think your career would go how do you see it going for the first couple of years or you know I have to grind for everything I got so It'll be just a grind till I get my shot. Then once I get the shot, like I always do, I steal the show, you know, so. What yeah. team do you want to play for <laughs> if you go to the... I don't know. I'm a Tom Brady fan, so shout out to Bucks, man. You know? All the Bucks? I thought you were yeah. going to say Patriots. You know, <laughs> uh, shout them out, man. You know, Bill Belichick, too. Okay. You know, any team, man. I'm trying to just... Tampa you know, Yeah, any, any team that gives right, me a shot. Right, right, so, right. You'd be blessed to go to him. Right, team. right. So, but like I said, Tom, I'm trying to play with Tom you Brady. You go to the Browns? Yeah, man, you can go play with Nick Chubb, you know. Hey, yeah, that's you know, what's yeah. up, bro. Hey, yeah. This is a dedicated, honest young man. Like, you guys have to understand. This is serious. He's taking this as serious as possible. If we could always do more, we could always do more. Right. We could always do more. Always. But he's here right now, making his effort. You guys check these highlights out because you're gonna not want to miss these. Um, you got an information, uh, Instagram, any uh, social media, anything uh, you want to shout out to the Twitter, fans? Twitter, uh, TMAC2611, all the coaches, you can come find me there. And uh, Instagram, Tavion Wells. That's all I got, not too big on social media. Just an old school type of guy, man. Uh, reach me at uh, 608-471-3111. Want to get in contact with me about like information or anything. So, you know, like I said, just a old school type of cat. That's what I describe myself, you know, low key type of guy, you know, so.
just appreciate Camo uh, using his time and coming over here and trying to give me some more, mm -hmm. you know, views and expand my horizon about people and how mm -hmm. my story and how gifted I am. So I appreciate him and all the good words he spoke about me. So great guy. I honestly have high hopes for this. I take this very seriously being into this uh, interview. I take this very serious. I have really, really high hopes. I don't have high expectations for anybody in this world, but I have very high prayers, high hopes, um, because his soul is very, I would say, deserving. We're all, like I said, we, we're all working on being better people, but I can just sense it and I sense the energy and this is the guy that you guys are all looking for, everybody. Even if you don't go to the NFL, even if you didn't, um, Corey Clemens, like I met him before he uh, won the Super Bowl. He was in Madison and he was like, oh, I play for the Eagles. I was like, what? Is that a D3 league? He's like, Philadelphia Eagles. I was like, oh man, I had Corey Clemens number. I was supposed to kick out him and link up and go to, I would have been going to the Super Bowl, but I lost my phone and lost his number. Could have got tickets and now he's a superstar. But we're not talking about Corey Clemens. We're talking about this young man. I just wanted to give a huge shout out because I know how hard it is to go to a whole different state away from your family, yeah. away from every single person that you love and support you to go follow your dreams and chase them. That's why I honestly feel like you're gonna do great. You have the motivation. Wisconsin Badgers, you gotta sign this guy. He's dedicated, he's motivated. And regardless of what you feel, he is the man you need. Yeah. I uh, appreciate you. Appreciate seriously. you, bro. I just wanna say all the college athletes, even if you're uh, home two minutes away, shout out to you being away from home. It's different. Uh, this year, it really showed me how hard it is being a college athlete. So I just want to know if you past, present, or uh, former, you know, I'm saying the same thing, but like, um, just shout out to you and shout out to you balancing that life because it's a hard life. And thank you though. My boy Camo here, you know, somebody got met today, but it feels like I met my whole life. So you know, <laughs> said a lot of good things, man. I appreciate him coming through and just trying to give me a little exposure, you know, a shy kid from Wisconsin, you know by a reserved person, so. Got big dreams of going to huge places, and I, I literally have so much love for this guy, and I do believe, honestly, deep down in my heart, into the heavens of God, that he's going to make it. Yeah. Whether it's in football, whether it's whatever you do, anything he right, does, he's right. going to succeed in. Right, right, he it said, doesn't matter. he said, like, it doesn't just gotta be football, anything in life. Um, I'm determined to just uh, help my family move up and succeed and me being part of that and if that's just me me putting them on their back whatever i'm gonna do I'm, like, I'm willing to do that you know so just like i said appreciate the my boy cam again saying look, i appreciate words, you bro man, so, seriously bro it's yeah. all love yeah, bro and you sure. got this bro you gonna rock out in wisconsin badger we gonna see you soon yeah for sure for sure <laughs> all righty